Thank you, most holy Sanini Nainini, Tata and Zambe. Yes, we give you the glory, oh, that great spirit. Oh, we thank you, oh, that spirit that moved upon the water according to Genesis chapter 1. Yes, we thank you for all that you've done. We give you the glory and the praise for all that you have brought us through and taken us up to this day. That we might give you praise and glory for all the things that you have brought up past and all the things that you took us through. The waters, the flood, the fire. Oh, the enemies. Yes, even some of us have gone through the voices not of our own fault. But yet we do praise you because in all this we know that you are our God. Yes, we know you are our God. You've taken us through our families which came against us. You've been so good to us. You've been so good. You've taken us to the death of those, through the deaths of those that we love that uh, many of us don't understand because of the, 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 the infinite, the, the un, understanding that we have of spiritual things and of life. We cry, yes, it's a morning to see the death of a loved one, but the fact is, is that you were the one that birthed them first. For they came from you, and to you they belong. And we thank you that we should grow into maturity and not spiritual childishness. And we thank you in your name. Yes, 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 that last word, maturity. And not spiritual childish. Christianity keeps you a child. Even those things that keep you a child. That keep you a child. Keep you immature. But when you start going by that law. You're going to have to ante up and grow up. <laughs> but anyway. We're in the book of Enoch. Chapter 10. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Those of you on TikTok. I'm Tyrone Clay 213. YouTube by Mr. Clay and even Facebook. We give God the glory for you, you, and you. Yes. And we're coming from, like I said, Enoch, the book of Enoch, chapter 10. And it reads Then said the Most High, the Holy One, the Great One, spake and sent Uriel. Uriel is the spirit, the messenger, which the old English call angel. Messenger, angel, messenger, angel. Get that right. Unto the Son of of Lamech and said to him, this is what the angel, the spirit, the servant, the minister of the Most High, went to the son of Lamech and said to him, by the order of the Most High. Let's get this right. We have to ask ourselves questions when we read scripture. This is scripture. I don't care what you say. Because a man said this was scripture, you go to the Bible and think everything in that is scripture. No, it's not. It's not scripture. But one thing about scripture, there's a chain, there's a ribbon, that there's a thing that go about. It's not about the Christ, it's about Israel, it's about Jacob. That's who it's about. That thread leads from the beginning of time, from the beginning of mankind, all the way to Jacob. Esau, the end of the world, and Jacob, the beginning thereof. You know what I'm talking about. Now. He said in verse 2, go to Noah and tell him in my name, hide thyself. He says in an exclamation point, hide thyself and reveal to him the end that is reproaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed and a flood or deluge is about to come upon the whole earth and will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. And that's what it did. Even up to this day, we are the children of Noah. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Now, and again, the I am said to Raphael, another entity, spiritual entity, a messenger, or AKA angel, bind Azazel, hand and foot, cast him into the darkness and make an opening in the desert, which is in Dudael. And cast him therein. God was angry. And make upon him rough and jagged rocks. And cover him with darkness. And let him abide there forever. And cover his face that he may not see light. Go and on the day of the great judgment. He shall be cast into the fire. Even if you heard. They said even the fire that was prepared for the devil and his angels. You're going to find out. Ain't no such thing as no, no Satan. <laughs> They're satans. This is a satan. 
There's a meaning to that. Verse 6. And on that great day, judgment shall be cast. He shall be cast into the lake of fire. And heal the earth which the angels have corrupted. The watchers. And proclaim the healing of the earth that they may heal. And how did God heal this earth? He had to kill it. He had to get rid of it. Because everything in his heart. This is why you must come with a new mind and a new heart. You've been subject to all kind of Christianity and Islamism and all kind of Mormonism and all kind of mess when the law is the law. The ordinances and statutes of the Most High have been corrupted through what? Spirits. And you believe what they say. You need to pray for deliverance. Oh, God, don't let me be passed by. You play that song. Do not pass me by, but you've just been passed by and you're still going ahead of you to, you to the point where you're not going to even know how to get there. Now, he said, and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted. In verse 7, he said, now, and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons, those sons of the watchers whom they have had with what? Human women. And the whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel to him, scribe all sins. So this must be the Satan, the one who they talk about, that great Lucifer, whoever they were trying to talk about. That must be who they talking about. Hmm. Eh, eh, maybe. Maybe, man. Now, verse 8, and to Gabriel said unto the I am, even Tata and Zombie, proceed against the bastards, father, children, and Women and children who have not been married. So all they did was just lay together. And a lot of you are like that. And a lot of us have been born like that. No, not me. But anyway, it's not to my pride. But it's sad. A child has to come to this world and be proclaimed a bastard. You made a bastard. You cannot marry a woman and unmake a bastard. Unless that was your brother's wife. By the standards of the most high. He said, against the children of fornication and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers from amongst men and cause them to go forth. Now, there was one of the judges, Ehud, I, I believe that's his name. He was a bastard. But yet, apparently, God used him to deliver Israel at one time. And that was a rare and far in between thing that had happened. Yes, God will redeem you if you follow the same things of everybody else but you cannot enter in the court of the congregation because of that now send him send them one against the other that they may destroy each other in battle for the length of days they not have and no request that their fathers make of thee shall be granted in other words no matter what these other angels say to you don't grant it I've given you power unto their fathers on their behalf, for they hope to live an eternal life and that each one of them will live 500 years. But it ain't going to happen. You've transgressed. You followed this Azazel. You went against, you followed this Satan. You went against the commandments, statutes, and judgments, even the ordinance of the Most High. You've done this, and you will not live to see, probably, I don't know how many years they lived. But anyway, in verse 11, that the I am said unto Michael, and a lot of you want to be, ah, I'm Michael the archangel and all this. Hey, get out of here. You stupid. But anyway, he said, go by in Simjaza, or Simgaza. Jay wasn't there. And his associates who have united themselves with women so as to have defiled themselves with them in all their uncleanness. In other words, you, you, your, your marriage was not honored by the Most High. Marriage is, is, is in the property of the Most High. It's a property of God. It's not a property of the states. and It's not a property of governments. It's not a property of your spirits. Yeah, they might register you, but it's not their property. That should be taken out through taxes. Why you got to pay for a marriage? Matter of fact, why do you have to pay for a divorce? You, they have no jurisdiction over that. They have taken the place of God. Now, it says, And when their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones, and bind them fast for 70 generations in the valley 
of the earth until the day of their judgment and their consummation until the judgment that is forever and ever is consumed. Now, here's a time limit. Seventy generations. Until the day of thy judge, their judgment and their consummation till the judgment that is forever and ever is consummated. In other words, he's talking about that lake of fire or maybe uh, I don't trust the New Testament too much. It's been poked, jabbed, and everything else. And in those days, they shall be led off to the abyss of fire and to the torment and the prison, and in which they shall be confined forever. God's just going to forget about them. He's going to leave them there. In other words, you messed up. And whosoever shall be condemned and destroyed will from thenceforth be bound together with them to the end of all generations. This was before the book of Revelation. This is revealed right here. Come on here. Why did they hide this? Why did they hide it? They didn't want you to know. They want to make Jesus God so that that man of sin, that old religious devil, could sit up there and come and proclaim himself the vicar of Christ. Oh, yes, they did. They manipulated him and lying all the New Testament scriptures to try to get you to see that Jesus is God and that now here's a man standing in the stead of God because Jesus was God. Come on here. Get it right and learn this thing like you're supposed to. Fifteen. And destroy all the spirits of the reprobate and the children of the watchers because they have wronged mankind. They wasn't supposed to be. They wasn't not supposed to be. Destroy all the evil from the face of the earth and let every evil work come to an end. And let the plan of righteousness and truth appear and it shall prove a blessing. The works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy. And then shall all the righteous escape and shall live until they beget thousands of children. And all the days of their youth and their old age shall they compete in peace. Why are they, why are they moderating innocent young men? Why on a traffic stop they all shot up for nothing they did wrong? They're married, they have children. And then they let the, they let the guilty go. Is this not a spirit? You better start praying here. You know what this devil is doing. He's in these people. They think that they're doing service to their country and, and to their, their prejudices and their biases. To delete many that don't look like them. Then those who want to look like them are doing the same thing. Now all the days of their youth and their old age shall they compete pleat in peace and then shall the whole earth be covered in righteousness and shall be planted so what are you talking about and with trees and be full of blessings and all desirable trees shall be planted on it and they shall plant vines on it and the vine which they plant thereon shall yield wine in abundance and as for all the seed which is sown thereon each measure of it shall bear a thousand and each measure of olives shall yield ten presses of oil and cleanse thou the earth from all oppression. This is scripture. And from all unrighteousness and from all sin and from all ungodliness and all the uncleanness that is wrought upon the earth destroyed from off the earth. And all the children of men shall become righteous. <laughs> God had a plan. And all the nations that offer adoration and shall praise me, and all shall worship me. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement, and from all sin, and from all punishment, and from all torment. And I will never again send upon it from the general. He's not talking about the flood there. He's talking about the last judgment. And I will never again send it upon from generation to generation forever. Now, even if he did talk about the, the flood, Still, he will never again send it. But the fact is, God has a plan. He's going to cleanse the sons of Levi. He sees these things. He knew these things from the beginning. He knew that man would be corrupted. He knew that man would follow after things that delighted. You take a baby and you sent something sparkling in his eyes and he's going to go after it. 
When you get a baby that doesn't go after your sparkle and your, and your tinkle, then that baby is going to be a wise child. This, this baby is, is chosen of God. But when that baby go after the sparkle and the tinkle and the little noise and the dee 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 dee, they're making him immature. Why are you teaching your baby stupid stuff? Why are you teaching your little children all these little toy things? And then when they get among school children or children their age, they have to compete. You have to compete with training them against the other parents that are immature too. That baby should learn how to war. That baby should learn how to fight. That baby should learn how to prepare a meal. That baby should learn how to make a dress, a pair of pants. That baby should learn how to plant crops. That baby, then that baby can go on and learn the mathematics and all these other things in the meanwhile. But no, immature, immature, immature. This is what we be taught. We be taught how to be children. To learn how to be honorable and how to treat all men right. He said, now truth and peace shall be associated together throughout all the earth of the world throughout all the generations. One earth. It was one earth. One earth got up at the Tower of Babel and said, we're going to be, we're going to go down and we're going to bring down God. Was these not angels that provoked this thing? They provoked it. But God says one earth, one people. And then the nations, the continents divided. And then you got the evil ones that came and seduced men to say, you will take this over and you and you will just split the land toward each other. There were those who were allotted even up there in Europe, those who were allotted the land that we call South America and Africa, and then those who were allotted over there above South Africa, and all those things until it split. And what happened? The result of not obeying the commandments, even the whole earth, is evident. The commandments have been here. I don't care what you say. It's been here. It's just not evident in, the, in Moses. It was here. God just reintroduced it to Moses. Some of you need to get a new brain transplant. But with that, I'm going to say peace.